Hello everyone, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. So yes, I know it's another preview, but a preview is better than nothing at all. So today we're going to be taking a look at the MPG Z490 Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi from MSI, or as I call it, the MSI Z490 Carbon. <laughs> So, the box. This the box is obviously quite important. Round the back, there we go. Now, I actually have MSI sent me this as like a uh, kind of an image for the boards. But uh, we didn't get much more information other than when I asked them about the uh, VRMs. And eventually they did tell us because, I'll show, actually we'll talk about the VRMs when we get to have a closer look at the board in a sec. But anyway, so um, Audio Boost 4, Wi-Fi 6, um, uh, 20G Lightning USB, 2.5 gigabit LAN. They're saying it's two times CPU power because you've got a four pin and an eight pin. I'm not sure how that's two times. Surely that would be 1.5 times. Anyway, Core Boost because they say digital power design for multi-core CPU. And then uh, lighting, cooling, that sort of stuff. Have a look at the specifications there. Don't forget to pause if you like. Don't forget you can go and have a look on the OC3D website for the like in-depth specifications and stuff like that as well. Comes with a uh, Wi-Fi 6 antenna. And that's what their one looks like. Easy to dismantle. You get your driver books and all of that sort of stuff. You get a couple of SATA cables, just the two. And then you get an extension cable for addressable RGB, which is, because I had to take pictures of these. So that's that one. So that's your addressable RGB connector. And then you get another four pin extension, but it fans out into two, which is kind of nice. So they go one from the board out into two. So that would be good for um, lighting uh, strips. Uh, you get a thermal probe. Actually, no, this isn't a thermal probe. I take that back. This is the cable that you need to connect your Corsair gubbins. And then that is it, other than screws for M.2s. Oh, the old phenom of Maasai build. Yeah, I've still got it. Anyway, so the board itself. If I change the camera angle, we can come down here to have a look. Now, there are 14 chokes there, but 12 of them are for the CPU. And that's because it has a six phase parallel circuit. So there's a uh, six phase controller, then parallel wired out into 12 MOSFETs, chokes, and then the caps. So uh, it's uh, all with Intersil, and it's Intersil ISL99360 60 amp MOSFETs. So there are 12 60 amp MOSFETs on that board. So that's still a fair amount of power when you consider the uh, carbon isn't like a mega, mega super duper board. So yeah, still using an awful lot of, um, or awful lot of possible amps available. Now, so there's our overlook, you know, broad overview of the board aesthetically stood back whole board but we will zoom in and we will go around so there you go there's your eight pin and your four pin although we are focused on the rgb section of the board here i believe that's all there is but i will show you in a bit because i have a magic cable allowing us to have a look now as we swing past the um mosfet heatsink at the top that kind of curved design is actually mirrored everywhere else on the board and it's the one bit about this board I really, really like. Moving across, CPU fan there, just the one, and it's actually the first fan we've seen so far. So just the one there. Then when we come a little bit further over, you can see the uh, Corsair header there for that cable that I spoke to you about. Then down the side, there are a total of four fan headers down there straight after one another, which is a good sign considering there was only one for the CPU. Come down to 24 pin. You can just about here see the um, poster LEDs. USB 3.2, Gen 2 there, four front panel. Then you get six SATAs. Ah, this is a horizontal USB 3. 
six eighties, really nice and simple. And then we get down to the bottom where you get the front panel header. Oh, tell you what I did just realize that I missed. Look up here, it's hidden. So there you have an addressable RGB header just hidden just there. We come back down to the bottom. I believe we're just about to find another one. So there is another one just there. So yeah, there you go. RGB header, front panel header. LED switch, it says there. Maybe that means we can turn them on and off. Oh, that'd be interesting. Couple of USB 2s. Then you've got another two fan headers here. Front panel audio header as we come across. As I scan up, you can see the Japanese audio capacitors. And then just up here, the reason why I'm staying zoomed in is we do have another fan header there. Couple of M.2s underneath these curvy heat sinks, which is nice. And it's all mirrored in here and here as well. And I kind of like the look of that. When we come around to the back of the board, you can see your I.O. around the back. Now, display port and HDMI. I am going to look to see which one it is. And I've just looked in the manual and it doesn't differentiate between what it is. So I'm going to assume that it's probably just HDMI 1.4 because they'd be shouting about it if it was HDMI 2. Um, so we'll just go with 1.4 and hope for the best. Then you can see that you've got your uh, 3.2 C port there, I'm going to assume that these are a couple of um, USB 3.2 Gen 1s as well. 2.5 gig Ethernet, Wi-Fi 6 out, and then your audio cables there. Okie dokie, so quick overview, I know, but that's all I'm allowed to do at the moment, so I'm hoping that's good enough for you. Also gave you some information about the uh, VRMs, it's 12 60 amp MOSFETs, it's a pretty good um, amount of power availability for a board that comes in Normally, where the carbon sits, because I can't talk about price, but it's fairly well specced. I really like the uh, curved heat sinks on the board as well. I did forget to show you the RGB. Now, I did think that it was just up there for the RGB, but it's quite clear to see that they've got some dancing around and hidden underneath that heat sink. I actually kind of like that because it's like a backlit rather than just um, being quite, you know, up front. Now, it's on an, an auto kind of like display mode, so don't despair. And if anything, I don't like now this bit at the top, and it would have been nice if it was all like underlit parts up around the top bit. Hmm, yeah, I'm glad I did power it up after all. See, you wouldn't have seen that very unprofessional cut in anybody else's video, but I forgot and I thought I'd show you. It's just because I've done too many of these videos in too short a period of time, all with the same t-shirt on as well. Um, but we've got it done. So we've had a good look. You can see the lighting, you can see the layout of the board. You know a bit about the VRM. Now it's only gonna be a case of waiting until I can talk to you about performance. For now at least, this is the tiniest one out.